covenant. In other words, I'm joined now to the Lord. Even though uh, Jordan is the captain of the team, somebody else owns the team. Right? Now, he don't let you go and put your name out there. He will let you, you get on the news on Channel 9. Yes, it was a good game. We won. The boys were bad and all that stuff. But then somebody over you who actually owns the team, they call the shot. So God is saying, I own the team, but I'm going to let you be captain, and I'm going to choose your teammates for you. That's key. God says, take lots. Take Sarah. Take the souls that are in your house. See, God is so strategic in what he does. Is that he prepares, and I love that prepare. He prepares the team for you to win. So, if you would look in your immediate circle, the person you're married to, the person you're related to, the person you're in a relationship, they're a part of your winning team. God doesn't put losers on your team. Because sometimes, you know, folks see that your team is winning. And then they want to trade. Uh-oh. So what they'll do, they'll go to the weak link who's a part of your team and say, um, you know, you can do better on the Knicks. Put me on the Bulls, you get on the Knicks. And we'll swap something out. God has already set the team in motion. My God, my God. And like I said, sometimes teammates fall out. Yes. Yes. Have you ever been in a locker room? Yes. Man, those coaches will curse you out. And they'll come out, the players are all ready to go, but you don't know what they go through in the locker room. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody. Just because there's a fight in the locker room doesn't mean you can't play together on the court. Sometimes you need to fight in the locker room. You need to release the pressure. You need to understand who it is and what's going on. And yeah, let's tussle, let's wrestle. But when we get done, give me a band and pull us down. We got a team, we got a win. You will never see in the NBA or the Unveil it for you. 